Back at it again, so guys, Spencer, you know what time it is. It's time for the top 100 East Texas players of 2023. Uh, if you've been following along with these videos, you know we are here at number 60 through 51. Uh, highlighting the best 100 players they had to make a first team all district in order to be a part of the running then just graded all of the tape and we land here at the top 100 now the top 100 started about two weeks ago so if you've made a tape within the last two weeks you're not going to be a part of this list because uh you, yeah too late i already looked at everybody and it's too late to refigure it all out now so if you're one of those guys who just made a tape in the last two weeks, don't expect to see yourself on this list because uh, that ain't how it worked. But let's get into it. At number 60, a junior wide receiver from Sulphur Springs, Skyler Lewis. Sky Lewis, incredible sophomore year. Well, not incredible, pretty good sophomore year. And then if you look at what he did his junior year, just incredible production from the kid. Uh, a guy that can play inside and outside receiver, can operate in the slot or outside. He's a taller type of dude. Looks like he's about 6'2", about 175, can absolutely fly, can get down the field, and he can leave you if you if you have step. And that's the thing about Skyler. You better get him down on the ground because he's a guy that's looking to explode every single play and how many yards he can get on every single touch. He's a guy that had big, big numbers. And, and part of having big numbers is playing with a great quarterback, and he'd had that in Brady Drive. Uh, Brady Drivers is a fantastic quarterback. They can get the ball to him. And when you got a talented receiver and a talented quarterback, that bodes well for a dynamic duo. And well enough to get you on this list here at number 60. At number 60, an explosive junior wide receiver from Sulphur Springs, Sky Lewis. At number 59, a dynamic sophomore from Lindale, Texas, uh, defensive tackle Caleb Walker. And, man, this guy here is just explosive. Uh, can play defensive tackle, defensive end. He lines up all over the place. He's a guy that gets penetration. Uh, one of the things that he lives off is his athleticism, his ability to penetrate the offensive line and pursue the ball carrier wherever it is, whether he's running down a sack or whether he's running a, a football, uh, a ball carrier down. He's one of those guys, and he's just, it's, the tape pops off immediately. His athleticism, how he, uh, looks like he's about 245 pounds at 6'2. He worked out about nine sacks this year. Uh, didn't have a whole bunch of tackles for losses within that. They had 45 tackles, nine sacks, and a fumble force. But just the pure athleticism and will that you see from such a young guy. He's going to be a big-time recruit standing at about 6'3", 6'4", is what they got him listed at. So you know he's going to be a D1 guy here in the next two years. But that type of explosion, first step quickness, type of pursuit, and then the absolute nastiness that is being taught down there in Lindell is kind of unmatched right now. And so Caleb Walker is one of those dudes popping up here at number 59. At number 58, senior quarterback from Harmony, Boston Seahorn. Now, Boston missed a couple of games this year. So his numbers aren't nearly as good as they were last year, but still, this dude was a hell of a productive player. They're just fun to watch whenever he was on the tape. One of the games of the year, him and New Diana, Harmony and New Diana, had a thrilling, thrilling back and forth matchup where he just went off, and that was one of the, the highlights of this year for the for games of the year. But man, Boston Seahorn, 2,200 passing yards, 642 rushing yards, 37 total touchdowns to just five interceptions. Also, one of the big wins of the year, Harmony upsetting Dangerfield. Didn't expect that to happen, and they came through and they handled the Tigers at the end of the regular season as well. Harmony, uh, a, a tough program. You can tell their kids are tough. He's the second of the guys that make the list uh, this year, uh, and Seahorn had a pretty good receiver to throw it to, and on top of that, he's just a ball player and a playmaker, and uh, one that's been very good in East Texas, and, and glad to see him make the list here at number 58. At number 57, a senior free safety from Tyler High, Tulsa commit, Zashawn Williams. Uh, Williams, a two-time, is he? A, yeah, he's a two-time member of this list. He made it as a sophomore early on. Didn't make it last year, but he was productive last year. This year, as a senior, he turns the course around. Now, Tyler won six games, but then he didn't make the playoffs. But this is coming off of a 2-18. and eight team. So, for them to turn around and win six games and then be in the hunt and was eliminated the last week of the season from playoff contention, uh, it, it had a lot to do with the new coaching staff, but also the seniors like Zashawn Williams, who stepped up incredibly and were solid forces on the line uh, for the Lions in the secondary this year. 68 tackles, three block kicks, 
four interceptions and ten pass breakups. Uh, four is a Sean this year. A guy that made it happen all over the threat uh, when he caught the ball, but after he caught the ball, he was bound to return it back to the crib as he took one back this year as well. Uh, very excited to see what he'll do at Tulsa next year and then the for the years that come on. But he was a great Tyler line and uh, one that really had a really successful career over the three years that he was on varsity. At number 56, a rising sophomore, a uh, guy that had freshman, uh, that had carries and made the list as a freshman, a two time member of this list, potential to be a four time member as we get in. But the sophomore running back from Texas High, Tradarian Ball, was an explosive and a very, very good football player this year for Texas High. 166 carries for 1,225 rushing yards, 7.4 yards per carry, and he had 18 total touchdowns. One of the biggest weapons, if not the biggest, depending on who you're asking, on the Texas High Tiger football team this year. Uh, a guy with a tremendous size. You can That's the one thing that jumps off the tape of him immediately. This is a big dude for him just to be a sophomore, 15 or 16-year-old in high school. Uh, very physical. Um, can run. Can run fast on top of that. Can finish runs. He was explosive in the screen game this year. A patient guy that can allow the blocks to get down the field and block for him. He can run the power. He can run inside zone. He can run counter. Uh, but he is also a big guy that can be on the perimeter and catches it extremely well. And which is a mismatch for a guy this big out there on those corners and one on one territory. He's going to run through him. Uh, Trey Ball is explosive player uh, and a lot coming back from this Texas high team. And very very interesting and very interesting to see where they will line up next year out there in T High. But at number fifty six, a very 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 good running back, the sophomore Tradarian Ball. At number fifty five, a senior wide receiver from Palestine, Gibson. He played in an offense that not that did not uh, showcase his abilities. They were a split back team. Uh, even the running backs had their hand in the ground. They ran the ball a lot. Uh, but Gibson, on the other hand, when the ball was thrown to him, hella competitive. A competitor that could go up and catch the ball with his hands. Very physical. Big as hell. Uh, really what you want out there as a wide receiver. A guy that can't be tackled on one guy. Really a running back out there when after he catches the football. You can't tackle him with one guy. And he's a guy that knows how to snip the end zone out. Uh, a lot of impressive, crazy, contested type catches this year from him. Uh, and that's the great thing about from a receiver standpoint of highlights when you don't have the best quarterback in the world and you have to go up and compete for a lot of balls uh pause just in case but when you have to go up and compete for catches man does it look your tape look even a whole lot better it absolutely does don't have any stats on Kamari Gibson couldn't find any of them on Max Preps or find any online but just know he was a hell of a football player and you can see all of that through his highlights coming here at number 55 Kamari Gibson at number 54, first team all district guard in 4A football, one of the toughest districts in East Texas, in the whole state. A tough guy by the name of Cameron Griffin, a sophomore guard from Lindale. And uh, man, they just breathe him over there in Lindale just a little bit differently. When you play that offensive line, it is something that you have to breathe and bleed nasty up front for Lindale. And Cameron Griffin is a young stud at six foot, about 275. He's a guy that can absolutely maul you. Uh, a guy that's a mauler up front and a guy that is uh, very, very, very interesting to watch what he'll develop into over the next couple of years. A little bit on the short side. If he can get to a 6'2", 6'3", he's a Division One type center or guard. Uh, but right now, just six foot ugly, I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. You know, it's going to get the long-term big D1 type look. Nonetheless, he is a long-term D1 type talent. He can get after it. He moves his speed exceptionally well. Great hands, great pace. And then, of course, he's a Lindell lineman, so he's as nasty as they come. And it's uh, a really fun, fun year to watch Cameron Griffin. And uh, it will be very interesting to see what he'll be if he can please, you know, and be a three-time member of this list. At number 53. Running back, a junior from Texas High, Javari Johnson. And Javari Johnson, uh, a, a stud, man. This dude is on the shorter side, probably about 5'6", five, 5'5", five, five and he's a guy that can run it inside, outside, and he runs it the best out there, in my opinion, over there at Texas High. 177 carries, 1,301 rushing yards and 12 rushing touchdowns for the guy that can just really, really run it however you want it to be ran. Counter power. Inside zone, 
outside his own toss whatever you can think of Javari can do and don't let the stature fool you he's a guy that can punch it up in that gap he's a very patient runner allows his blocks to develop and then when he sees the block develop he can accelerate and burn through all offensive player of the year I think for Texas High for not Texas High for Texas Canada and their uh, their newspaper uh, one of the offensive players of the year maybe I'm stretching that I'm not always sure but Javari is a very talented running back made this list yet last year and is a two-time member of the top 100 East Texas players so shout out to Javari coming here at number 53 at number 52 a senior outside linebacker from Mount Pleasant Antez Jeffrey uh, Couldn't find any numbers for Jeffrey as well But Jeffrey man oh my goodness You watch the tape and you know this dude can play An intimidating sight out there uh, 6'3 about 195 pounds Playing outside linebacker Fast uh, Not only he played outside he also played inside a little bit of Linebacker too but you see all the highlights The first one is just impressive The guy's running out there wide Thinks he can get it over him He just keeps you know, keep strapping, strafing with the quarterback One on one throw Throws it, he catches it, and he's just gone after that. Covered a lot, covered really well, um, and could also rush the passer. Physical against the run. And Tess Jeffrey is one of those guys that uh, I'm not sure where he's going to school at, but whoever comes and gets him this late in the game is getting an absolute steal because Jeffrey can ball. Really uh, enjoyed his tape and uh, he had a really good senior year for Mount Pleasant. Coming in here at number 52, and Tess Jeffrey. Number 51, senior receiver slash safety, Jatavius Boogie Johnson. And man, oh man, oh man, you talk about a man against boys. This guy, uh, let's start with him. He looks like Thomas. He is just huge, and he is running by people really, really fast. Uh, then on defense, you see him, and he is just, uh, he looks like freaking, I don't know who on defense. He looks like Ed Reed with, with John Lynch hitting ability sometimes. He is absolutely mauling and killing people on the defensive side of the ball. Coming up with big numbers, 80 tackles. He has a tell, uh, hell of a force fumbles. Uh, a guy that can play on both sides of the football, and you could tell that he was just a better after those dudes out there on the field. Uh, of course, uh, probably punched a little bit him and... Uh, the running back Keyshawn Walls for that first round exit. Uh, it might have something a little bit to do with it because the level of competition doesn't look as great after you guys get beaten in the first round. But nonetheless, Hooks were undefeated un, uh, undefeated during the regular season and competed really well for the people that they had to play. Uh, just came up short there in the first round. But that doesn't take away from the talent and the freak that Boogie Johnson is. Whoever comes and gets this guy is getting an absolute steal. Yes. 